I'm going to try to explain something that's very hard for even me to grasp, but I went to God in prayer and said, Lord, what kind of laws do I need to write to help my men so that we can bring down Lori McBride? <clears throat> because, you know, she's using UFO technology. She uses She's using UFO technology to defeat us, and that's how she's able to maintain all these lies because she uses cloning technology and nobody knows about it. <clears throat> so I said, Lord, what is it that I'm not dealing with in my law so that we can bring this evil terrorist down? And I was watching the news about the Austin bomber and it, was, it just amazed me that he was so brazen and we couldn't catch him. So I went to the Lord in prayer and the Lord seemed to show me, Gail, what you need to deal with are extra dimensions. The Lori McBride Jesuits are hiding in a fourth or higher dimension, so you need to write law. So what I did is I, I wrote law. I haven't published it yet because I don't want to reveal to Lori McBride exact all the little nitpicky details of the law because it might help them to get away from us. But basically, I told them you need to create a scanner that scans for the presence of Lori McBride Jesuits in fourth and higher dimensions, including maybe even other, maybe a little bit of time travel. Maybe they're in a dimension that allows them to be a little bit ahead or behind us in time, and our three-dimensional scanners are not able to pick them up. Well, what's really amazing is after I wrote this law within two hours, and I, you know, I get within two hours after I submitted it to my men, they found the Austin bomber. So apparently this Austin bomber has been hiding in another dimension. And our scanners picked him up. And also when I look at his pictures, he doesn't look like the kind of a guy who would do these bombings. So I, I think it's actually a clone of the person who's been accused of the bombings who's doing this. So I think Lori McBride is using a clone. You may say, what do you mean? What's the fourth dimension? Okay, when you got a line that's like from point, point A to point B, that's one dimension. When you have a square, that's two dimensions. When you have a cube, you have three dimensions. And then I think it's called a tesseract or something like that. That is four dimensions. That's like a square surrounded by eight cubes. And that's a tesseract and they're all moving uh, kind of like right angles to each other. It's, it's hard to envision it. It's beyond our comprehension because we think three-dimensionally. You look around me, you're getting a two-dimensional representation of a three-dimensional world as you watch me here on the camera. So the Tesseract is probably the way an alien, like a UFO alien, sees us. Maybe when God or an alien looks at us, they don't see us like you see, like we see each other. Maybe they see body, soul, and spirit. Maybe they can see all of the different parts of our being, the soul and the spirit kind of mingling all together. You know, maybe that's part of the higher dimensions. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, how in the world did Jesus come into a room with his disciples and just seem to come out of nowhere? And when he shows up to my men, he just shows up out of the blue. Just boom. And then he disappears. And he can come in different forms. He can come as a, a dove, or he can come as a little baby crying. He's done he's done all of that. So he chooses what form he wants to come in. You might say, um, it's always a three-dimensional representation to us when he shows up, but you know, and he even stopped time for us one time when I reinstated conspiracy law at a time when I shouldn't have, so so the big question is, how in the world is Lori hiding all of these Jesuits in another dimension so we can't get them? And I think it's some sort of, I think that the UFOs and Satan showed her a, a way to get a portal from our three-dimensional world into a higher dimensional world. And what I think Lori's been trying to do is she, I notice she's, she has absolutely no regard for for destroying this earth. She's been dropping bombs like crazy. In fact, I even have a headache today from the bomb she's dropping. She's dropping bombs like crazy all over the world. You see a pink hue at sunrise or sunset. That's the result of her bombing work. And you get headaches and people are getting sick and she's killing people. 
It's like she doesn't give a flip about this earth we live in. She doesn't, she pretends like she cares about the environmental laws, but I thought, why is she destroying the world? Doesn't she care? I mean, she has to live in this world. And then I thought, wait a minute. Maybe she and her Jesuits are hiding in a fourth or higher dimensional aspect of the world that's impervious to all the bombs she's dropping. So what I think she's trying to do is she plans on totally destroying this present world that we live in and replacing it with a clone version of the world that exists in another dimension that we cannot access with our normal senses. And Satan or the UFOs have given her a technology where they have a door or a portal that allows her Jesuits to escape from the dimension we're in to a dimension, another dimension where she and her Jesuits can go safely hide after they commit all their crimes. So what's really funny is after I told my, you say, how can we program a scanner to find her if she's hiding in a higher dimension? You can probably use it using mathematics, using higher math by just calculating the possibilities of where all these dimensions would exist using mathematical formulas. In fact, using the laws of physics, they've calculated that the current laws of physics don't work in a three-dimensional world. Like the law of relativity and the law of entropy, they contradict each other. The only way you can make them work is you have to have a four, you have to have like a, I think a 10 or 11 dimensional world. For them to work but it's got to be higher than three dimensions so that means that there that the world we live in what we perceive with our senses is not the world that really is in fact some people um even postulate that we're living in a big hologram and there's like like the like the movie the matrix we're living in a big hologram and jesus created our world it's finite it's not infinite and it's expanding jesus did say the universe is expanding but we're living like in a big hologram, and um, the only way you can explain the world that we live in is if there are like 10 or 11 dimensions. Okay, so I told my, man, my men to use mathematics and physics to create a scanner that will scan into all the possible dimensions where Lori McBride could be hiding from us so that we can't find her. I mean, it's amazing. She commits all these crimes. We caught this they found the Austin bomber by scanning into the higher dimensions. Maybe he was in a fourth dimension, a different fourth dimension, or a different part of our current fourth dimension in another third dimensional version. So if let's say he was in another part of our fourth dimension of the fourth dimension around us, which would mean he was in one of the rotating cubes around us and but we can't see it. Like he could be the way it works is the fourth dimension could be all around me, but I just can't see it. It's like I think one scientist said, like if you had a flat land, you would fill it up with, um, with squares, and then you'd run out of space, and you'd have to build up higher. Okay, you're starting to go into the uh, y-axis. And then if you had a three-dimensional room, you'd put a bunch of cubes on top of each other and they'd get higher and higher and then you'd fill up all the room with cubes and there's no more room. How do you make more room? Well, the fourth dimension inside the room would give you cubes. So like an alien from outer space would say, here, let me just open a door. Here's the fourth dimension. You got more room to put the more cubes in. So that's the way it would work. There would be a fourth dimension. Let's say maybe the portal was right there in Austin, Texas. And that bomber was going around, dropping his bombs off and then escaping into the fourth dimension um, into another three-dimensional world inside the fourth dimension that we couldn't access. And that my guess is that the Lori McBride Jesuits, they don't live in the world that we're in because they're destroying it. Her goal is obviously to destroy the world we live in. And then once she does that, she's going to replace it with the fourth dimensional world where she's living right now and it will be I think that's what Satan's trying to do you know I believe that the creation when God first created the world it was a solid and it was all one piece and there was no entropy entropy I believe happened as a result of sin the law of entropy where everything is falling apart okay so in the original creation I think everything was like crystalline 
and it was in a perfect form and there was no entropy. And when sin entered the picture, that's when everything started falling apart. The Bible says that Satan lived in a crystal garden. The garden of his garden of Eden was like crystals. That was the world before sin entered the picture. Then when sin entered the picture, the law of entropy set in and it I believe that when we lived in the crystalline world, there were 10 or 11 dimensions and we could perceive them all. And it would probably be like they could look at me and see body, soul, and spirit and everything, you know. And then sin entered the picture and it limited our consciousness to three dimensions. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, the end after the millennial reign, when we have a perfect heaven and earth, heaven, Jerusalem comes down in the form of a perfect crystal. And I believe that when we have our perfect heaven and earth, God's going to change the laws of physics. The law of entropy will no longer exist. There will be no entropy. Everything will be cohesive and together. And anyways, Satan is playing games. He wants to rule the universe. So what he's doing is Satan has showed the Lori McBride Jesuits how they can go into a higher dimension and escape from our three-dimensional world so we can't find them with our scanners. So please, any physicist, even chemists, anybody with a genius IQ, join our nanotechnology team. Help us to construct scanners to scan the higher dimensions and maybe even different time periods to find out where the Lori McBride Jesuits are hiding from us as they destroy our world. Lori is trying to destroy our world and replace it with hers. And right now, she's, from what I understand, is she's built a whole new world or worlds in other dimensions. And we're scanning and just going into those other dimensions and destroying her world. She's furious. She's dropping bombs like crazy. I think she's able to launch these bombs from her dimension into our dimension. And then she's able to retreat back into the safety of her dimension. So she's destroying our world with the intent to replace it with her world, which is in another dimension. So scientists, go to galesman at yahoo.com, join our nanotechnology research team. We need to stop Lori from destroying our world. She's, her goal is to replace everybody with clones, which she considers a higher order of existence. She's working with Satan to destroy our world and replace it with her world where she's escaping to, which is in another dimension. You may say, I thought she was living at Brent Spiner's house in Malibu. From what I understand, she just pretends like she's living there, but she actually retreats into her own world along with her and all our Jesuits, and they're all living in a, another dimension. And we are just now finding them. So if like if we try if we try to kill them, now the only the only thing you gotta understand is she's able to clone everything in the world and bring it into her other dimensional world, but she but she can't clone humans that quickly like we'll, we we can wipe out one of her whole dimensional worlds and she's able to bring it back in a split second using cloning technology and put it in another dimension so we are we need to come up with a way to scan all the dimensions simultaneously and destroy all her worlds at once so we need your help she's she's got UFO technology okay but one thing that's holding her up she can replace the material things, but anything that has a soul, like a human being, she has to grow that from a baby to adulthood, but with accelerated growth hormones, she can do that in a matter of days. But she's, we are able, we are finding her, her hiding places now, and we're taking her out, but we need more help, okay? She, um, I will have some links underneath this video that might explain the other dimensional worlds. But it's something that we can't comprehend. We can only visualize it in our mind. So we need scientists to help us. We need to find a way to destroy all the other dimensional world she lives in all at once using scanning technology. And eventually, if we do this, we will defeat her. Okay? She's using advanced science, and she's got Satan and the UFO science on her side. Even though the UFOs are all out, out in outer space right now in the semen bubbles, Satan is allowing her to know some of their technology. So help us out. Galesman at yahoo.com. Help us defeat her.